This is the part that really gets down to what you need to do as an interior designer, the acoustical design applications. Now for offices, if you want to keep conversations private, using absorbent materials will help lower sound levels. Also, use airtight barriers between the spaces to help mask the noise. Windows in offices are good sound transmitters, so you want to add drapery to minimize. Acoustical consultants will identify three levels of speech privacy, normal, confidential, and transitional, when they deal with working environments. Sounds in an open office will travel directly from the source to the listener, but can be fracted by objects in its path or reflected off surfaces. The absorption characteristics of the ceiling are usually the most important factor. The architectural arrangement of a space has a lot to do with speech privacy. Locate confidential areas outside of the open area to provide a buffer. Then place the loudest areas at the perimeter, far from the confidential areas. Try to keep individual office cubicles as enclosed as possible with the maximum possible partition height. Partitions must be high enough to block direct line of sight voice transmissions. Not lower than 65 inches, but preferably between 66 and 72 inches. Floors and offices do not actually impact the overall sound absorption, but they will minimize noise from walking and moving chairs. Sometimes, masking noise is incorporated into the space. Natural sounds like waves or wind or electronic white noise can be added. Suspended ceiling systems are now available that will incorporate a wireless system for office communication as well as a sound masking system. Impact noise is often the greatest issue in buildings with multiple residents, so carpet should be installed in apartments and hotel rooms to help cushion the sound. Also, don't lo locate uh, noisy areas like kitchens and bathrooms over sleeping areas. Another option is to suspend the ceiling from the floor above, and also you can install a resilient layer between the structural floor, like any hard flooring, tile or, or wood floor, and um, the slab below. You could also consider installing a floating floor. Now bedroom ceilings should have ceiling mounted absorptive materials with an NRC of 0.6 and a mechanical ceiling fan system to block noise. Don't locate outlets back to back. That would be a great little keyhole for sound to travel through. Singing in the shower sounds good because bathrooms are inherently reverber reverberant. Adding acoustical treatment around the door, avoiding the back-to-back -back outlets, and not having air grills that open directly to bedrooms can definitely help mask noise. Also consider a very loud exhaust fan. In public restrooms, you want to locate them near service cores and not really allow them to share walls with office spaces or places where people are going to sit. Plumbing can make a lot of noise. Also consider a masking sound system like music or white noise. Congratulations on finishing your last lecture for building systems. You guys did a great job and hung in there through a very long and detailed quarter. Now don't forget, you're not quite finished. You have to do your three questions and post your journal entry.